As a part of Full Sail Partners 10 year anniversary, we are highlighting each employee in a series called Getting to Know Your Coworkers. Today, we are spotlighting Dale Busby. Good morning, Dale. Good morning. Dale, let's first start off with stating your role at the company, how long you've worked at the firm, and where are you located? So my role at Full Sail Partners is an account manager. I have been in this position for 11 years, uh, and I am located in Atlanta, Georgia. Great. All right, and I notice you're in your dining room today. So the first question is, where do you work most frequently when you work from home? Well, after 11 years with the company, I got very smart and I purchased a rolling desk. So I can work from my home anywhere my desk will roll. I can roll it outside on my lanai. I can go out and sit in the sun uh, and I can sit in my dining room. That's super smart. Well, do you have anybody that joins you through the day, like an in-house pet? I do. I have uh, a little French bulldog named Kirby. Uh, she was named after Kirby Smart. No, I'm not a UGA fan. Ha ha. <laughs> but she is by my side every day and uh, at times wants to get in on the typing sessions. And the dog is adorable. I've, I've seen it on multiple <laughs> calls. Thank you. So what is your favorite part or thing about your job? So my favorite thing about my job are my coworkers. Um, Fulfill Partners has one of the best teams I've ever worked with. And so that has made my job very enjoyable. I think when you're a virtual company, having a good team is vital because you do have to communicate in very um, different ways. Uh, phone, I am, Zoom. Um, so you need to be able to have folks that you can communicate well with. I think that is, that's super important. And so I would, I would agree with that wholeheartedly. What's something you are really proud of accomplishing? So there's two parts to that answer. And one part is my girls, I have two daughters and they are grown and they're very um, well-rounded. Uh, I have grandchildren that are very well-rounded. So that's the first thing that I'm very proud of. Personally accomplishing as far as myself, I graduated from college when I was 48 years old. So um, I'm very proud of the fact that I raised two teenagers. Uh, I was a single mom. I went to school and I worked full time. That's and, an amazing and made it to this point. Yeah, that's an amazing accomplishment. And so uh, definitely something I'm sure your daughters are proud of as well. I hope so. Yeah. Well, what would you like to be known or remembered for? So this is this is difficult, but thinking about it, um, trustworthiness. I, I want people to be able to rely on me to know that when they are in need, I'm going to be there for them, and that my honesty and my trustworthiness are something that they can rely on. Um, we're starting a new uh, a position here at Full Sail Partners, and it's in accounting, and that is one of the highly important skills or personality traits that you need to have to do that job. You need to be trustworthy. Yeah, absolutely. I think you're going to be perfect for that as well uh, as we continue to, to grow there. And so I think uh, through your history here, it sort of set you up um, specifically for that. So super exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you could become an expert at something in an instant, what would it be? Um, computer coding. Uh, we're going to have to connect odd? you with Pete and his team, huh? <laughs> I know, I know. I actually took a class on uh, at Lanier Tech on computer uh, coding, and I actually did pretty well at it. So I, I kind of got that bug, and I haven't been able to focus my energies on it, but I hope that one day I will be able to do that. Yeah, well, you never know uh, where uh, where this company might take you as well on that. Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, let's jump over to the personal side. Um, who in your mm -hmm. life has inspired you the most? 
other than my daughters, because of course your children inspire you, especially as they grow. And again, my children are grown. So they have inspired me. But before that, the person that came was my sister. And so my sister has been the biggest inspiration in my life. She has set a very good example. Uh, she has been a woman to follow. And I it would not be the person that I am today had it not been for her. It's awesome. And so I know sisters are, are super important in, in life. And so I'm glad yeah. that you guys have that bond together. We do. Yeah. Um, well, talking about things that you still have on your, on your list to do. What is something that is at the very top of your bucket list? So this will be odd, but I was flying home from Arizona and we flew over the Grand Canyon. And I have always seen pictures of it in books or on television, but it's not that way in real life. And seeing it from above in my flight, I was gone. I went, oh my gosh, when we flew over because it was amazing. I would like to stand at the edge of the Grand Canyon and look into the Grand Canyon and it's magnificent. Yeah, it really is beautiful. And so I, I definitely hope that you uh, get to do that maybe in uh, Arizona or, or which state are you thinking about going to do that in? I would actually like to go back to Arizona because I loved Sedona. So to be able to do Sedona, the art, I just love the art in, in that area. So I would actually like to visit that with my husband that I have now instead of that other husband <laughs> and enjoy it with him. That sounds like <laughs> a whole other story. <laughs> this year. I know, I know. With his coworkers. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so let's finish off personal with uh, a fun question. What's the craziest thing that you have ever done? You know, I bought a Harley with the intent of learning to ride myself. Uh, fortunately, I had a boyfriend who, who rode, so I didn't ever had to drive it, but uh, <laughs> it never came to fruition, so I eventually sold it. But yeah, that was... I enjoyed riding on the back of my Harley for quite some time. It I love fun. it. Now, what kind was yeah. it? Was it like a soft tail? <laughs> what was it? It was a fat boy. Oh. <laughs> With black. It was black. It shined and it had lots of chrome. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish I had pictures of uh, Dale in her Harley boots and Harley jacket. Come on, girl. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I had the leather jacket with the Harley on the back and I've got my Harley boots and uh, yeah, they make great good show, uh, snow boots as well. <laughs> that would have been a totally different fun picture for you on our yes. website. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, let's jump into this or that. So on the, off the top of your head, which answer would you go with? Are you a okay. morning person or a night person? Morning. Okay. Uh, sweet or savory? Ooh, what time of day is it? <laughs> sweet. <laughs> All right. All right. Coffee, cola, or tea? Coffee. Okay. Freshly baked cookies or freshly baked bread? Bread. Nice. Uh, what about with music? Hip hop or country? Hip hop. Nice. All right. Movies, comedy or action? Cohen Brothers. Comedy. There you go. All right. Road trip or plane trip? Ooh. Plane. Okay. What about snow or sand? Sand. Like the snow or the sand between your, uh, your feet. All right. Yep, that's exactly right. Ninja or wizard? Wizard. All right. Teleportation. Yeah. Teleportation or flying? Teleportation. Yeah. All right. Last question. Scrambled, fried, or poached eggs? Scrambled. Great. 
Well, Dale, I think that your coworkers definitely got to know you better today and probably even have some more questions for you after uh, some of the things uh, we revealed today. So thank you so much for joining us. Oh, I've enjoyed it. Thank you for doing this. Thank you.